<laughs> I'm Chelsea Sanders, and I'm a senior here at ST. I'm majoring in computer science and minoring in theater. And I'm working on the production of Willy Wonka as the assistant designer. Willy Wonka is a lot different from other productions because it's a lot more minimalistic set. Other productions, we actually build walls and have huge set pieces that move on and off. But it's a lot more challenging because there's a lot more special effects in this one. We have things like the chocolate waterfall, a hopper that people slide off stage. We have people Wind. flying, an yes, elevator that flies, and just different things like that that are more technically challenging. My name's Tom Price, and I'm a computer science student in my junior year here. I'm also master carpenter for the show Willy Wonka. I just love building here because it's nice break from classes and pretty relaxing to use a saw and nail gun every once in a while. When you're building you see every little detail that's going to bug you throughout the entire show and no one else but you is going to notice. The phrase we like to use is 30 foot galloping horse. If you can not notice the defect from 30 feet away on a galloping horse, it's probably good for stage work because the audience is that far away, so a tiny little crack on a piece of wood isn't gonna show through as much as you think it is. That is a nice crack right up along there. Nice With theater here, we, we have very minimal budget, so we try to save as much as we possibly can and reuse each show. For this production, we've used pallets that we've saved from different wood shipments that we've gotten and that we went and got from hardware stores around town. And we're using the wood from it to make the bucket shack, to make it look old and symbolize that they're poor. We've also used things like the mushrooms from Alice in Wonderland. We took the tops off of them and we're going to use the tops and paint them as cookies. We're using different styrofoam rocks that we've used from productions and we're painting them to look like chocolate or fudge and sugar cubes. We're going to use a cart that we use in Sweeney Todd as the candy man's cart. And we're using an inventor's machine that we use in Beauty and the Beast that had like chopping axe on it and all kinds of moving parts as the machine that made the everlasting bubblegum. I just prefer the building aspect. I'm not really a, the most outgoing person. I guess this is also my comfort zone. Uh, I started doing technical stuff in high school and uh, fell in love with it. I love all the backstage stuff and how much you become a family with everyone that you work with because you spend so many hours together working and you're all working towards a similar goal of making a huge, awesome production. Overall, it really is a great escape from all the math and things that we have to do in engineering fields, and it's a great way to stay sane, to exercise the other side of your brain.